Okay, so the Y phone has four buttons on the front of it that are specifically for users to do whatever they, you want with. Uh, we don't use them in the firmware for the phone itself. Um, so you can open the firmware, add some software that does whatever you want to do, and then connect those to the buttons. Uh, so today I'm going to run through how to do that. I'll write a little bit of simple code that toggles an LED and then connect it to the button and we'll, we can see how the process works. So in the main loop of the Arduino code, we've got this section that monitors the uh, user function buttons, which is what we call the, the four buttons that are reserved for people to use. Um, F1, F2, F3, and F4. So if you want to find where to, to hook up uh, the button press to some code you write, I would, I would just search for F1, F2, like that. Um, obviously, if you're, you're doing something a little bit more complicated, you could put a function here, but this is pretty simple, so I just, I just put it directly inside the, the little detection code. Uh, all I'm doing is I'm toggling uh, uh, I.O. pin on the daughter board on or off. Uh, I got F1 hooked up to turn it off, and then F2 turns it back on. As I said, if you want to hook it up to a function, you can do like a lot cooler stuff, like like maybe you want to turn your your room lights on or off or dim them. Uh, you could do that here. Uh, you could remotely start your car, open your garage door, or you could even send a text message or an email just with a button press. So all of that could be done. So we got a particularly cool example we'd like to show you.